on days when the snow piles up. The field trips. Welcome, welcome. Rush inside. So this is where students are first arriving at the museum when coming on field trips. In a space filled with names like Van Gogh and Monet, students visiting the Denver Art Museum first see works by people like Caitlin. I'm in 11th grade, I'm a junior. Calvin. I'm 14, I'm in 8th grade. And Asia. And I am 16 years old. The new Scholastic Art Showcase puts students in the spotlight. It's really cool to see young kids look at my art. So that other students can be inspired. I've never really had an opportunity for a large group of people to see my work. It's amazing. I'm so honored to have it here. Calvin Bowl. I just love to keep adding little buildings. And puts his imagination on paper. But I think I really got serious about it maybe a couple of years ago. That's when I'd say I really found my style and really started to work on perfecting it. Yes, this is extremely exciting. Asia Thunderhawk. My goal as an artist, I think, is to put out a message. Used her parents' bills and receipts to tell a story about capitalism and wealth. This piece, it's about indigenous poverty and kind of like poverty as a whole. I love how I did the face. Caitlin Kelso. The last piece that I did. Thinks it's pretty cool to see her art on the walls of a museum. It's so awesome to think that my art was recognized like this. An exhibit that focuses on artists you haven't heard of. It's kind of like on my life bucket list and I've achieved it at 16 years old. Artists that the world needs to see. I'm really proud of what's happened and I'm excited to see what happens next. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, Nine News. The Scholastic Art and Writing Award Showcase runs through March 31st at the Art Museum. More than 3,000 artists in middle school and high school submitted their work, 100 chosen to be displayed.